because he's my best friend, he's my pal, he's my homeboy, my rotten soldier, he's my sweet cheese, my good time boy. Creating a super vampire isn't as cut and paste as it was for creating a super villain or super sim. For this one, you have to take into account what you want your sim to be like. Are they gonna be good? Are they gonna be evil? Or are they simply out there living their best vampire life? Who knows? Only you do. To start off with, you need to figure out who to have this super vampire with. Unlike spellcasters, there's no ancient bloodline or anything like that to worry about. In fact, that means you could follow the steps I outlined in the supervillain video to get a vampire child with the Solani Mana trait. If you do end up doing this, you'll need to ensure that one or both of your vampire's parents are vampires themselves, or you need to have this lot trait. Since bloodline doesn't matter in this gameplay, you could start off with a young adult or adult, or even an elder if you wanted to. If you want to skip to adulthood, you could do this by hovering over the video's timeline and clicking on the spot marked adulthood. Alternatively, you can find the adulthood chapter in this video description. Although by doing this, you won't get additional bonus traits that you could get throughout your sim's life, so beware. On top of that, you'll want to know how to get bitten and transformed into a vampire, so click the pop-up right now to learn about how to do that. Make sure you've added a few lot traits, like on a dark ley line, which increases the chance of a baby being born a vampire, even if their parents aren't vampires, which is very important if you choose not to have any vampire parents. Registered vampire layer, essentially you'll receive free gifts in the mail. Or vampire nexus, which means vampires will visit the lot more often. That one's very handy if you start off with a normal sim and you want to get bitten and transformed into a vampire. All of these lot traits are pretty useful no matter if you're trying to conceive a vampire or if you want to transform a sim into one. Okay, you've had your baby. Now age them up. After they are aged up, you'll be able to tell if they're a vampire based on their plum bob. If it looks like this, then they are. If it looks like this, then they're a normal sim. I'm so sorry. In addition, you can take them in to create a sim to ensure that they are a vampire, in case you don't trust their plum bob or something. I don't know. You do you, boo. You'll see this vampire symbol above their traits if they are a vampire. If they're not, you're going to have to either try again for another baby or accept the fact that you're going to need to find a vampire later on to make your sim a vampire. Mind you, you can only do that when they're a teenager, young adult, adult, or elder. So you will have to go through childhood with a normal sim. But that's okay. It really is. At this point, I highly recommend trying to get as many skills as you can. If you complete all of their skills, they will receive the top-notch toddler trait when they age up. This will allow your sim to increase their skills faster. If you don't have time to master all of their skills, you can settle for getting them halfway there. If you get them to level 3, your sim will receive the bonus trait called Happy Toddler. This will also allow them to gain skills a bit faster than normal, but not as fast as the sims with the top-notch toddler bonus trait. After you've completed the skills, you should age your sim up. Happy birthday to your child vampire. This is where the real fun begins. At this point, you need to choose whether or not you want your super vampire to be evil or good. For a good vampire, I recommend choosing outgoing, good, family-oriented, animal enthusiast, cat or dog lover, or goofball. For an evil vampire, you could choose loner, gloomy, self-absorbed, high-maintenance, hot-headed, perfectionist, kleptomaniac, erratic, snob, materialistic, evil, mean, paranoid, non-committal, jealous, or hates children. No matter what type of vampire you're making, you can never go wrong with giving them self-assured, genius, creative, romantic, unflirty, childish, ambitious, neat, lazy, squeamish, socially awkward, or geek. Honestly, you can't really go wrong with anything for this vampire. It truly depends on the storyline and character you want to craft. Personally, even if my sim is going to be good, I like to mix and match the good traits with the bad. I'll give at least one bad trait just because people aren't so straightforward. There's good in everyone, and there's bad. Wow. At this point, you'll be picking their aspiration. I highly recommend picking whatever one you like the most, since it'd be ideal to complete all of them. By finishing the aspirations, you'll receive a 20% boost in each category. Completing the artistic prodigy, you'll get a nice little boost to all creative skills in adulthood. The whiz kid aspiration will give you a boost to any skills that utilize the focused emotion. Social butterfly and rambunctious scamp will also give you a nice boost to your social and fitness skill but they're not as useful as the other two. So if you don't have time to complete all four of them, then I recommend completing the first two and not the last two. 
If you choose to make a good super vampire and you own parenthood, you'll need to work to make sure you increase all of their character values until they're in the green. Maybe you don't want a good vampire, and you want evil one. In that case, you do the opposite. The character values need to be in the red. You don't need to achieve this right away. These character values will stay the same when you're a teenager. They're gonna carry over. This is the perfect time to start your vampire's rise to stardom if you own Get Famous. Buy a few drones and build by mode, and then just always stream whatever your child is doing. This is the easiest and fastest way to gain followers, reputation, and fame, in my opinion. Lastly, you might want to get your child sim into scouting. Scouting comes with seasons, by the way. If you're able to complete all of the badges, you'll get a bonus trait called Scouting Aptitude. This will boost your skill gains by 25%. Your sim can complete this during their teen years as well, but it might be worth getting ASAP since your teen vampire will begin to burn in the sun. So do it now when they're a child and they're not affected by the sun. Now your vampire is a teenager. And they're truly a vampire now. Yay for them. If you want to hear the traits I picked, go back to the beginning of the childhood portion in this video, or just choose them based on your own storyline and whatever you want. You can begin learning all of the powers that come with being a vampire at this point, since now you have access to them. Hold on tight, we're going to be covering them in a moment in the next life stage. It's time for their first real aspiration. For evil vampires, I recommend Villainous Valentine or Public Enemy. These aspirations will give you a bonus trait called Dastardly. That means you'll have a higher success rate for mischief or mean interactions. After completing Public Enemy, you'll receive a bonus trait called Mastermind. This will increase your chances of making other sims angry or sad. Plus, you'll have access to new interactions like Vicious Rumor, Seeds of Doubt, and Subtly Debase. All of these interactions cause very powerful moodlets. After completing Valinous Valentine, you'll receive the bonus trait called Twisted Heart. It'll give you a bonus social from mean and mischief interactions, and sad or embarrassed moodlets will disappear quicker for your sims. Aspirations for a good vampire could honestly be any of them. I do recommend choosing the Knowledge Aspiration since it'll give you Quick Learner as the bonus trait. Quick Learner will give you a 25% skill boost, which is very nice, I can't complain with that. Since this bonus trait is given to you immediately, you could change your aspiration after choosing this one to whatever one you want. Okay, like I said before, your sim is now truly a vampire. That means the sun will burn them. So you might not be able to make it to school. But if you are able to make it to school without dying in the sun, then make sure your sim is getting their homework done and any school projects they might receive. When they finish high school with a grade A, they'll begin any career at level 3 instead of level 1. Or university will cost less for them due to scholarships and whatnot. I highly doubt that you're going to go to uni with your vampire, but if you do, then I recommend leveling up their fitness, logic, and mischief before applying. Now your little vampire is a fully-fledged adult. I have some good news for you. They're now immortal. If you're starting off with an adult sim and want to transform them into a vampire, please check out the short that I have linked in the video description. It'll help you with that. Essentially, what you want to do with your vampire is learn all about vampires and the powers that they possess. You'll also want to increase your vampire's rank, which you can see in this menu right here. As you make progress, this bar will fill up and you'll be rewarded with points. Each level will unlock new abilities for you to choose from. At first, leveling up will feel very easy, but each level afterwards will take a bit more time. Be patient with it. To gain skills, you need to feed and utilize your powers. This will give you experience. After exhausting your sim's powers, you should click on them and use the Dark Meditation. Dark Meditation will regenerate their vampire energy and will give you some experience. Another way to gain experience would be by studying vampire lore. You start off by doing this on a computer, and then eventually you can order ancient tomes to read. When you come across another vampire, you should do the vampire spar interaction with them. This is under friendly interactions in the social menu. If you want to undergo vampire training, you can do so by clicking this and then selecting this. 
To level up faster, you should try to select the occult student power after you've learned a few of the other powers. You could learn detect personality and or hallucination early on so you can still gain experience without feeding. Once you get the occult student, it will reduce the cost of vampire powers. Selecting your powers other than the three I've already listed is really just personal preference. Some powers that I enjoy would be the sun resistance at master level, supernatural speed at master, Vampire Creation at Minor, Vampiric Charm at Minor, and Eternally Welcome at Fledgling. Any of these powers would work well if you're playing as an evil vampire, and even a good oh, vampire. Definitely. Keep in mind what powers you really want, even if that means that they're higher up than what you are now. Now beware, you have to select weaknesses as you level up. You'll have to pick one for the first three ranks up, and two for the last rank. You won't be able to cancel weaknesses out with the powers. For example, if you choose Thin Skinned, you won't be able to give them resistance to sunlight. While playing a good vampire, you might want to pick Guilty Drinker, since you'll probably be buying plasma packs from the computer rather than feeding on other sims. However, if your vampire is evil, you might be excited to finally be able to choose this weakness since it'll start off any relationship in the negative. Some weaknesses that I would choose would be Withered Stomach, Sleep of the Undead, and Sloppy Drinker. There are lots of storylines you could play through with your vampire. Maybe you're trying to become the leader of a vampire group and just create as many vampires as possible. Or perhaps you want to play a sad, lonely, handsome vampire who just wants to find love. My favorite would be playing three vampire roommates who live with a boring emotional vampire friend and their human familiar. Either way, there are tons of ways to play. Let me know what your favorite thing to do with the vampires is. I recommend watching my super villain and super sim video to see what else you could do with your evil or good vampires. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed this Sims 4 guide and subscribe for future Sims related content. Thank you again, and I can't wait to talk to you in the next one. Bye!